Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as Austria-Hungary. And I just noticed that we have three Japanese, or at least have one Japanese division, in Toronto, Italy. Gotta love those Japanese people. Going all the way from either Korea or mainland Japan to come to Italy to sample some pasta. I bet there's definitely possible. Wait. Uh... I think, yeah, left, okay, so last time we left off with a big naval battle win, but we did lose quite a few ships, and a lot of our ships are injured. Uh, yeah, they're only getting repair in the naval base. And I was checking out our man, our glorious leader, Conrad von Hutzendorf, who is level 4 general, but he does have infantry expert and ambusher. Now, with that in mind, he was the field marshal when him and his general, this guy right here, Viktor Dankel von Krasnik, he invaded Serbia and quickly defeated Serbia. Now they're defending. And they've also, he also has control of the cavalry that are also defending. With that in mind, we have the option of now upgrading Konrad von Hutzendorf into an infantry expert to get a little bit more attack, or ambusher so we get more entrenchment and more recon when entrenched. Right now we get plus 15% defense already from infantry leader. Honestly, I was thinking about doing Ambusher just because we were already winning and doing very well wherever my divisions under him were placed. However, I just said that we were doing well enough. We don't need any more divisions, or at least any more defensive power. What we really need is the ability to push hard into the enemy, which I haven't done very much lately with Conrad van Hutzendorf. With that in mind, let's go ahead and do some more division attack because even though we do have cavalry, they're not considered infantry. But I still have some infantry divisions as well as some infantry divisions over here. And just in case, you never know if you might need to use them. All right, so, with that in mind, we're going to continue making more backup divisions. So we have 13. Actually, we need 13, but we already have 17. Uh, actually, if I did that, that's 15, 17. Good. I'm going to slowly try to suppress enemies that are coming or trying to, you know, rise up against me in Serbia. Or what was Serbia, which will be annexed after this war. And with that in mind, can we add military police here? Yeah, actually, that'll be really good if we can do that. We get less... Actually, we get quite a bit less organization. So we get less recovery rate, which is fine. We get more defense, more breakthrough, more soft attack, a tiny bit more heart attack. We use a slightly more supplies. We get one more point to, su to suppression, which is not bad. Plus 20% suppression bonus. We get quite a bit less organization, more HP, and more reliability. Now, it will cost more. But I think with an extra military military police but uh, support company not battalion but support company that ultimately will make our entire coastal divisions even stronger so that's why I'm going to add them there and as we make more I'm also going to put them on the coast of Romania because we haven't quite been able to crack the Russians on the Eastern Front yet Ooh, Brest Litovsk or Brest Litovsk sounds like a great place to maybe potentially have a peace conference you go ahead and help them out since they look pretty darn weak, even though the Germans are attacking kind of over over. My god, Germany, look how weak your divisions are. Why do you attack so hard? Why? Are we... Oh, I did tell, I think... I thought I told my soldiers to attack, but it looks like the Germans are attacking somewhere. Uh... Oh, actually, five... Yeah, we could probably help ex execute this order. Help them out here. And if that's happening, we can attack here, as well as maybe here as well. Keep the offensives up. That'll be very important for us. Um, how many divisions? That's quite a few. Can we... I think I was just attacking here. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see what happens. 76. Numbers are going up. This is good. How are our ships? After coming off another naval battle, level 6 guy with a, being a spotter as well as a superior tactician. He's almost iron sides, which is good. And how many ships need repair? 12. Actually, that's less ships than I thought needed. I think last time we needed a total of 14, but we'll be done by May 22nd, 1916. Great. Oh, we'll be done in a month. Wow. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm going to do this, but you're really just going to stay there so that you don't accidentally just go out in the water again. I don't want that to happen. And it looks like the Entente Navy is really trying to find those German boys. Oh my god, look at this. It's mostly just the British and French Navy. They're just... They just hate the Germans so much. They don't come for me. I hate the Italian ships, which we do pretty well blowing up. They only have 30. 
and I have 28. So we've knocked out quite a few of them. But we've also knocked out a few Portuguese and Japanese ships, I think, as well. I think mo mostly more Portuguese, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, we're trying to attack, but it's not really working. We're still trying to attack, trying to attack four divisions. Could we win on this coastal... not this coast, but a uh, piece of province here. Five divisions? Maybe, maybe not. You guys look like you might be able to win here. Go ahead and try. Go ahead and go right there if you can. At this point, we're just trying to look for any holes that we can exploit. Take all but one and help attack. Maybe I should do some 40 with divisions, but I don't... Eh, maybe not. Just because we are suffering from a little bit of attrition from bad supply. And using 40 width would obviously hurt our capabilities for offensive warfare. And, to a degree, defensive warfare as well. Oh, come on, there's only 24 half-baked half divisions here. Or half-baked divisions, my god. I'm not a baker. Ugh, I'm not a smoker. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways! <clears throat> so, yes, we can finally get another research slot. That's 1917. That's 1918. So good. Actually, that'll come in really handy, because this year, 1916... This year has a ton of uh, things to research. Yeah, it looks like they stopped attacking for now on, over here, which is good. Trebizond has been encircled, but it is a port. Oh, we got so much political power that I can't really do anything with. That sucks. Oh, how are we producing stuff? We're making better roads in Loveland, so better better supply for now. Kios is looking good. And actually, once we get all this Serbia, oh, Moravia as well... That'll be good so that we can constantly use their factories without having any sort of repercussions. Resistance strength. It's going down, actually. That's pretty good. If that's the case, manage occupied territories. Serbia. Resistance growth. Gentlest. Harshest. We get less manpower and it costs us more. You know what? Let's be, let's be harsh. Let's be very harsh. With Russia, though, I think we'll be okay with being gentle for now. Now, that gives us six more factories to work with, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, they, they probably won't like that, but honestly, I really don't care, since we have enough divisions here anyways. So, I'm not really... Oh. Oh, God. Well. I'm going to need you as soon as possible. I mean, you don't have to be, like, super strong, since you're, you're kind of guarding both the coast and this area, but... You know, whatever. I need those factories anyways. Get those done. Uh, you know what? We have too many factories dedicated to repairing stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. I need more factories. That's that's what we know. But what do we need the factories for? Field guns and motorized. Field guns. Which is early artillery, of course. And our field guns and artillery. Wait, field guns and artillery. Field guns and motorized. Motorized. Motor. Oh, horses. Yeah. And, of course, we could always use more ships. Oh, did we just make another ship? Oh, uh, I think we just made another destroyer. Oh, we're still trying to fight this battle. I thought we won, but I guess we're still trying to fight. We're not doing super well, but we're not doing terrible. Oh, Theodore Rahl. Nope, he's got nothing interesting. Anyone here? How about our field marshal? God, I would love him if he could become infantry expert. But he's, he's slowly getting there. He's definitely slowly getting there. No one else has upgrades, which is fine. Uh, war... Warsaw is kind of being a little rebellious, but I don't really care since they're not my soldiers. Not part of my land. Alright, so we're not winning here. That's not good. Anywhere else that we might be able to exploit. There's six divisions here. Yeah. Definitely try this area. Oh, you were just fighting over... Oh, no, whatever. If we continue to drain every one of the resources... Ooh. They're getting attacked and they're winning, but when they're attacking, they're losing. Yep, sounds like the Great War. Oh, they're getting attacked on this front, too. That's not good. And we're getting attacked here again. Uh, hey man, what level are you? You're level 6. Jesus Christ, you're already level 6? My gosh, you're a smart boy. These horses, I mean, God. Oh. I don't know what to say at this point about those horses. They're just, like, made of iron or something. This, we got iron horses. They'll be called the Iron Horse General or something. This Hermann von Klesen Horse, man. Please win. Please clap. Come on, please. Oh, oh, we actually might win. Cool. Very good. Now they only have six, which is actually pretty good. We're missing, yeah, close air support. I don't really care, though. Not really. 
I'm just waiting. The Greeks might join the Entente. I, we don't. We just don't, don't trust the Greeks. Develop civil industry in Asia. Develop Tripoli. Let's take a quick look at their manpower. They're half a million. France is at over one million. All right. They must have just been military youth. UK is at 1.3 million. The Germans are at 3.4. Wow, we're pretty much the same. And Russia's at plus than two. Interesting. Raj, like we said last time, is all under 10. Republic of China is just pooping out boys like there's no tomorrow. And Japan is over 3. Very interesting. Oh, are we getting attacked again? No, we're trying to attack this area. That's not going so well for us. You know what? We got soldiers here. I mean, you might as well try to use them. They're not mine. How thick are they? Oh, that's not bad. They're 20 width divisions. They're actually 7 2 divisions. Wow. 20 width standard infantry. Pretty good. Ooh, I see a problem here. Go help defend Odessa. Did we lose it? Oh, we lost this battle. That sucks. Uh, oh, that's attacking over a river. I did that. This is still attacking over a river. Hmm. I really don't want to reform the line. But it looks like I might have to. Yup, don't do that. Don't do that. No, 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 no. I should have done that like this. My mistake. Close enough. Cool. Go ahead and redeploy so we have a little bit better coverage. More equal covering. Uh, they're trying to attack. Yeah, you guys aren't really help poised to help attack, so we're not going to do that. Germans are still attacking. We're still defending and winning. Italy is looking like one hell of a mess. And surprisingly, not surprisingly, I suppose, they've held on for so long that I don't think anyone really wants to attack this area again. But my god, this is the, the best army I've ever seen who have so many veteran soldiers. And actually, yeah, I actually have 40 with... Mountaineers. Wow. Do you have any upgrades, sir? No? Could become a winter expert, though. That would be interesting. These poor Frenchmen. Oh my god, look at those cavalry soldiers. Look at those infantry. They're almost dead. Oh, but they're pretty... They're, looks like they're pretty small. They don't have that many battalions in those divisions. That's why they're getting melted so quickly, but, you know, whatever. I'm not going to tell their moms and dads, like, Hey, your son's dead because we made a mistake. They're still trying to attack. Eh, yeah, screw it. Take a, uh, take a horse, I guess. Maybe you could use some extra horsepower. I mean, they have five divisions, but apparently they're not that great. I don't know. Alright, so it looks like our line has mostly done reorganizing. Yep, it's mostly done. We're still suffering from attrition. Where do we attack next? Where do we attack next? This area. I want this piece of land so badly now. Oh, wait, no, it's this one. Seven or nine. Obviously, the best choice would be this. Give them a little extra boost. Make the enemy tired out as fast as possible before they send in any extra divisions. Pietro Rangel? No. No, 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 Pietro Rangel. Oh, you're level 6. No, no wonder if you're, if you're so strong. So they add more divisions in. I mean, we'll attack somewhere else then. Oh, 5? Oh, yeah, let that guy go. Uh, now we're going to attack here. We can't win this battle with, what is this? 8, 12, 18? 18 divisions against... Five, six divisions? Come on, that's that's kind of pathetic, don't you think? Yeah, come on. Keep pulling your soldiers away as we melt them as best as we can. Four, four divisions left. Three, two, one. We've got it. We've actually done it. Now we're across... Now we're going to fight across the river, which sounds even worse. Oi! Hmm. War bonds are still going good. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do. Military, dockyard, construction speed. Eh. Still building stuff. Still building this stuff. There's just nothing I can really do. Hmm. We're still trying to build military factories, of course. Trenches, maybe? Uh, we still need trenches around here, actually. Yeah. That, well, I'll just leave it like that, maybe, since we're still trying to repair stuff. Hmm. Yep, I heard someone trying to navally invade, so we're going to put a level 1 fortifications all Oh, wow. Portuguese really don't like us here. That's fine with me. I'll give my guys a little more experience that they need. Oh, and actually, we are garrisoning Odessa? Good, we are. 74 against 7. You're still trying to attack, which is good. Coordinated subs, awesome. Better surface detection and organization. Next up, surface ra surface submarine rating coordination and better surface detection, and then, ooh, what is this? 
Battleship Organization and Capital Ship Attack, or Capital... Oh. Both are very good. But I have other things I need to get done first. Reinforce rate would be good. All this stuff is really good to get. Um, Fighter Detection. Max output. Let's get more output. The more we can produce... The more we can outproduce our enemies, the better. Eight Divisions is a lot to attack at once. I really want to attack Brest Litovsk. Come on, do it for us. You guys can do it. 69. I'm telling you, you guys can do it. Don't, don't, don't disprove me. Oh, they're going to disprove me. No, no. Karl von Flanzer Balten. Am I going to have to sack you? Yeah, I was not winning. Ah, the Russians have so many divisions here. Germans can only do so much. Hmm, I need more soldiers. Oh, we got some more here. Kind of. We need more soldiers, though, period. 18. That's a lot of boys. We have 8 destroyers and 14 battleships. Oh, it's going to take a while to build all this rest of the stuff up. Uh, you know, it's good. we're going to build another one in Montenegro. Another naval dockyard. Oh, they landed. What the heck? 7 divisions. Yep, that's why you guys are here. Take you and help attack. We can wear them out just by attacking. Oh, yeah, go ahead and help the attack. How are we losing this? Holy cow. Just keep following more soldiers in there, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, extra research slot. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, I want more dockyards. I need the I need a bigger navy so we stop getting attacked on the seas there. Engineering. Uh infantry. It is nineteen sixteen. Re-equipped infantry defense. Breakthrough organization. Soft attack. Uh, let's get a better machine gun for our soldiers. Some sort of gun for our soldiers. 7, dex 10, no, over a river, that's, not, that's a big no, no, no. 8 divisions, 8, 8, 8 against 16. We might be able to win here. Probably not, since it is a marsh we are trying to attack. Oh, improved mechanical computing, better research times. Force rate, uh, let's get some better, uh, was it breakthrough? No, yeah, better breakthrough. Jesus. Trying to attack Russia is so hard. 54, yeah, we're not winning anywhere. Maybe except here. It's because we've grinded down their soldiers for so long. Oh, do you have a new upgrade, sir? Yes, you do. Yay, you're a better attacker. Good job. What level is our field marshal? Level 4. Alright, please. Hurry up with infantry there so we can get more infantry attack. Oh, we are getting attacked. Oh, we actually won down here. Awesome. Oh, that's kind of surprising. Very surprising. Ugh. Very nice. No upgrades yet. Oh, Travazon was taken back. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, kicked out those stupid British soldiers as well. Casualty rate. Oh, we are actually losing... Maybe a couple battles? Let's see. We've lost less than 300,000. The Germans have lost 10 times our casualties. Holy crap. The UK has lost over a million. France has lost over 2 million. And the Russians have lost only one and a half. Surprising. God, I need... I wish the Germans could do, like, another good assault. I'm kind of waiting for the Russians to do an assault at this point. Uh, you guys are healing back up. Getting more organized. Throw them in there. Just throw them in there. You guys can constantly funnel more soldiers in here, but I'm going to keep attacking. I wish the Romanians would attack as well, though. Come on, guys. You guys got this. I can hear it. Just... I can't... Oh, and they landed. God dang it. But it looks like they're winning, so I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, let's see. Alright, we've got 32 ships. Nine destroyers. Not bad. One a month. More than one a month. God, I could use more dreadnoughts. Yeah, and we're getting invaded somewhere. Western uh, Western Balkans. Against nine Japanese divisions. Kiroki. Hey. Interesting. Wow, our organization's really bad. I wish the German divisions would just leave. Just leave me alone, Germany. You can put these soldiers to better use elsewhere, including you, Bulgaria. I've been holding this for so long by myself, it's, it's almost laughable that you're even here trying to help us out. Let's see, Sudtarol. Actually, we're almost done with our repairs. Never mind, we still got more repairs. Uh, Lemborg. We're Sudtarol, yeah. This will need that. Lemborg. Let's do that. Three. 
four. Get their angle. Yeah, definitely want to level up our guy here. Three. Uh, definitely not a Panzer leader. Ooh, pink prototypes. Very nice. Infantry, invader, commando, scout staffer. Uh, better reinforce rate. Re-equipped infantry helmets. Yes. Unlocks re-equipped infantry. Huh. We're doing definitely better on producing more guns and motorized, but our supplies aren't doing great. Keep up the battle. They will tire out eventually. God, I hope so. I really hope so. Hope this will level up Theodore better, more as well. Come on, Russians, attack me. Attack me somewhere. You know what? Do something stupid. Best soldiers. We don't have enough guns or motorized, but this will. S I'm going to convince these guys to go with highest priority for supplies. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to need some people that really know how to shock the enemy. Oh, are we losing? Eh, kind of, kind of not. And we're getting naval invaded again. Ten destroyers. Good. Good, good, good. We always need more destroyers because I always lose all of them. Western Balkans, not too concerned. Just throw them back in there. Oh, and we took the province. We took the province, guys. It took like a month. But we actually took the frickin' province. Thank God. Now we have now we're across a river, which is gonna really suck to attack. Oi. Hmm. Hmm. Well, what are we going to do next? Not really sure where to attack. I mean, we are trying to wait for our boys to get a little more equipment here. Pretty good on motorized. Field guns? Hmm. Uh, when's the next batch of soldiers going to be made? They're waiting for field guns and motorized, which is always a reoccurring problem here. How, many, how much infantry equipment? Yeah, we can lower that a little bit. More motorized, please. More cannons, please. Um, That'll be fine. Oh, wait. I did the wrong one. Oh, well, we have enough support equipment anyways at the moment, so... Okay, just make more guns. Alright, very good. They're attacking here in Anatolia. They're attacking these divisions again. Oh, Russia. Oh, Russia. Come on, Russia. Attack me. Two divisions are trying to attack Russian divisions across the river. And, the, and they have a third of the defenders' forces. Wow. Great idea, guys. I think attacking here would be a bad idea. And I'm probably right. Yeah. I'm right. I hate it when I'm right like that. There's just nowhere really good to attack. I mean, six... We have 12 divisions here. Oh, deep defense. I read this last time, so we get more land night attack, and I question why they get more land night attack when we're talking about deep defense. Hmm. But, regardless, heavy support. Tanks and armor variants, more heart attack. Uh, tanks and armor variants, more soft attack. Well, we'll mostly be fighting infantry, so I'm gonna do this. Enemy tanks are able to tear through lines of infantry like nothing else and unopposed, even when they're virtually alone. However, our direct fire infantry guns have unexpectedly proven to be able to smash through their armor and our basic grenades, especially larger and more explosive models, have been doing just devastating damage. If we focus the use of these weapons against enemy tanks, we may just stand up to these beasts and end the tank panic, devastating our troops, mutually exclusive with enemy tank support. But we're talking about destroying enemy tanks? But the tanks and armor variants get more soft attack. Um, I would say we need more guns for infantry to attack the tanks, but okay. So, you can't hear this. I can hear it through my computer. Ooh, we need to do this. But someone just commented that we could get some modders, or somehow, somehow, some way, some find some modders to make the result of this war as a new alternative for a playthrough in the Kaiserreich universe as Austria. Uh, I don't know any modders, to be honest. I really don't. Which, what? Uh, uh, the French have landed into Alsace-Lorraine. Alsace-Lorraine. 
Elsass, Lothringen, um, Germany. This is not good. This is not good. Oh god, I need some division to help the Germans out. Hmm. I really don't want to open this this area up either. This is not looking good. But so if I do play as Austria once this war is over, I will probably try to keep as much of it as similar to the base Kaiserreich, just because probably between the end of whenever this war is going to end and the beginning of 1936, there's probably going to be a lot of stability issues regarding uh, Austria and trying to have ownership or being or co-ruling with the Hungarians and the Slovaks and the Czechs and the Galicia Lugumiria, Serbia, Bosnia, Croatia, Montenegro, and so Slovenia. I already said so about that. But with that in mind, with that in mind, I could probably just like directly puppet them in the future, or whenever I try to set up that game if I do it, and probably keep Germany pretty much mostly the same with having you know the Reichs Pact and maybe me owning the Ukraine if we end up getting there. Oh, heavy industry, very good. Oh, more factories in a site. Yes, and better factory output. Good, good, good. Uh, construction speed goes up by a little bit. Synthetic refineries. Resource construction speed is always good. Supply consumption, let's do that. Even though it's only 1%, I really like the supply consumption, especially when things aren't looking so good for some of our soldiers. Oh, dockyard expansion, number two. Great. Uh, let's see, more dockyards. Sure, I want a bigger navy anyways. Because that'll definitely help out... If I can contest the Adriatic fully, that'd be awesome. I mean, I doubt I'll be able to do anything in the Mediterranean, because we, as we've seen, there's a crap ton of ships up here. All right, so you're trying to repair a bunch of stuff. Go ahead and try to repair all of that, but we're always going to make more factories. Let's see, 70, 70, 80. 70, 70. Let's do that. And, of course, like normal, they're attacking again. Now, no one's attacking. Oh, never mind. The Germans are attacking in the north, which makes no sense. But whatever. Hmm. Seven. It is September. We have to keep that in mind. You cannot help over here. And this is all across the river, which is really bad to attack across. I doubt five divisions, ten divisions can attack. Six. We could try it. Maybe we'll get. Maybe we'll do okay. I mean, they don't have really a lot of strength in some of these divisions. But you never know, and it sounds like we're getting invaded again. Hello, sir. God, I really would like to blow you all up. Hmm. If only, man. I'll probably tell him to go again once we have a few more destroyers. Maybe when we have more dreadnoughts. Oh, we're out of chromium? We're finally out of a resource? Uh, sure. I'm going to need more fact naval dockyards eventually, so we might as well trade with Greece anyways. That looks good. We're improving our situation in Sutarol with trenches. Please, Germany, don't lose any more land. This is pathetic. Oh, they are attacking Crossover River, which is good. Luxembourg is looking not too bad, though. They do have quite a few soldiers over there. And this battle is actually going a lot better than I thought. 89. And once we take this province, we can help attack this sixth province over here. It's just going to be a slow, drawn-out war. Well, I mean, I guess it's already 1960, and I think we've already figured that it's going to be a slow, drawn-out war at this point. Awesome! Good job, guys! We didn't need, even need any uh, German help for this one. Good, slowly beating them back. So wait for our soldiers to get a little more strength. And these weren't even the 20, the 40 width divisions, 40 combat width divisions I made earlier. Yeah, we're gonna attack this area next. Six divisions. Oh, actually, we're gonna wait for these soldiers. Maybe get a little bit more strength first before we really try to rumble with the enemy. Ooh, machinen machinen postola 18 slash one. Oh, oxen slash something. I don't know. How to say slash in German and eins. Maybe I don't know. Personal and crew reserve weapons for infantry, as well as the various other bits of kit a soldier needs. Very good. And we'll get more defense in a soft attack. Alright, let's make some more guns. Oh god. The production efficiency went down. Oh, so much. But we still have 16,000, so I'm not too worried about that. Actually, we can probably attack using 13 divisions to attack these 6. Feeling very confident, but we don't have enough of force attack. Oh. It's not good. No, that's not good. Yeah, we need more. We need just command power to help attack. 73. Oh, you guys are looking pretty good, though. You're the... Yeah, you're, you're the 40 widths. So you'll definitely pack, pack one heck of a more, more punch. 
Actually, you attack next. You should attack next. That should be good. We might be able to... No! Don't give me that! I don't like that. Yellow's okay-ish. Yellow means speed when you're driving, but right now I need it to be a little better. Uh, Gorilla Fighter. Yeah, level 3. Come on, guys. You got this. Oh, man, you guys are getting tired out extremely fast. Holy crap. Why are you getting tired out so fast? You don't have enough organization? I mean, I made you 14 4. Maybe 5. Oh! Uh, well, keep that going for just a little bit. We have another division, which is good. Oh, wait. Which we could actually add you up to here. I'm kind of concerned, though, at this point, about the German front. Actually, I'm more than just kind of concerned. I'm very concerned about the German front. I really don't want to do... Oh, they landed here again. God dang it. That's fine. Ah, uh, at this point... You know what? Oh, wait, what? Uh, I'm looking at the wrong group. Here. Here... Let me guard victory points. That won't solve anything. You definitely need to guard that. I need more divisions. Because I need you to guard these ports as well. Oh, I, I really need more divisions. Go ahead and poop them out for now. And I'm going to keep those guys there. I'm going to take this army now. you got to help defend the German border. I don't really trust the German border anymore. I mean, yeah, they, they were losing and now they're winning. But at the same time, I can't afford Germany to lose. Oh, wait. just Yeah, just add them right there. That'd be good. Yeah, two more divisions on the front is a good thing. God, God dang it, guys. You guys are almost back up to strength. We will wear down brest Litovsk as much as we need to. I need this territory. And you're almost all strength. All back up to strength. You guys will help attack. That'll be good. Good. For now, whoever those divisions were from, you'll come to him. Because the Ottomans are doing okay. They've actually taken back a little bit of their territory. Yeah, they definitely actually have taken back a little bit of their territory. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. I thought they would have capitulated by now. But I guess not. Oh, guys. Bulgaria, please. I know I know you're a small nation. You probably can't afford as much education as some parts of Austria as I can. But that's a little crazy. So, oh, let's, let's help attack here. Because it's over river and they're pretty weak. I mean, we know there's less divisions over here, but still. Uh, help them out as well. Right, good. Good. Hmm, the Germans have decided to do a suicidal attack across the entire front. Interesting. Yeah. Making two separate things of infantry wasn't my greatest idea, but eh. We still get all that infantry regardless. But now we're helping hold the line. I hope. Uh, you could probably help hold, because they're going to get... They're going to get hit a lot, and you might as well help them out. Yeah, help them out. Help out, help out our German allies. They've helped us push on our line. We'll help them push on their line. All right, please win here. Please win. Please clap. All right. Oh, sounds like we're getting invaded. I will end the episode very soon. Uh, if you're winning, I like to see winners. Help them push a little bit. Help them push. Help them push. Take all but, like, one and help push there. I guess you're moving, so I'm not going to tell you to do very much. I don't want to attack here. That seems a little crazy. Help him push right there. Oh, we took Brest Litovsk. Nice job, guys. Very nice job. You'll help here, and you're going to help here. Nice. We're going to end this episode with a nice, nice push as people continue to try to invade us. And we have no one right here. It's not good. Me too. We're doing pretty swell over here. Put to dawn swell. Come on, guys. Oh, they have six divisions. Ugh. Sounds like we're getting invaded in the Western Balkans again. Come on, you guys got this. You guys got this, no problem. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not helping over here. We might be able to help over here, though. Those nine divisions, maybe. Come on. Wearing down those boys. Fifteen divisions, that's a lot of guys. Uh, I know it's not a smart idea to do this, but we'll help them out anyways. God dang it. 
Now they've reinforced their lines. Yeah, there's no point to attack a river like this. Not really. Five divisions still. Five, four. Hmm. Yeah, but only this division front province can hit that area. Six. Eh, it's not really worth helping attack. We're winning here. We're winning here. It looks like we're we're doing very well in the Middle East, at least. Wow. <clears throat> You guys help attack. I, they, they stationed a lot of soldiers here. Holy cow. We're going to wear them down until they're nothing. Nothing until they got nothing but nubs. Wow, our attacks are just failing so hard. Please, please win. I, I want to end on a, on a good high note. Oh, no! I just said we wanted to end on a high note. No, Franz Joseph the first dies. It was November 21st, a dark day for us. The beloved Kairos is a Franz Joseph after a long tenure in life. So come to pneumonia. Many in the government fear that their empire may not long outlive him. Carl I ascends to an uncertain throne. Oh my god. Oh, at least we have this boy back. Oh, baby. But, anyways, so I'm going to end it here, guys. I know I wanted to end on a high note, but this video is going a little longer than I expected. Not by much, but just, just a little bit. With that in mind, guys, let's take a quick look at the casualties. Germany, why? Three and a half million dead Germans compared to mine, at least. Two million Russians have died. 2.6 million French have died, and oh, 1.2 million Brits have also perished in this terrible conflict. So guys, I'll be honest with you, we didn't get that far in this episode, but we're desperately trying to beat up that Russian juggernaut, because they're actually losing manpower if you take a look at this, which is very, very good for us, even though Germany is also getting beaten up quite a bit back. With that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue the slow grind towards Kiev and Grodno. Thank you very much for watching.